Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. That sounded very robotic. Also, I feel like I always look like I'm naked. I'm always wearing tank tops and it always makes me look like I'm naked. For those of you that are on TikTok, you were a little early. Sometimes put the tickety talk on early just to get it done and taken care of. I want y'all to have what you need. Um, but you really should come to Twitch. Twitch is where you can see all the pictures. Also, for those of you on YouTube, what the flip is up, tubers? I hope we have some Sarah Baska fans here. Not because of anything we're going to talk about, just because I like when other people like her. Um, what the hell was I about to say? Oh, for my people on YouTube, you should come to Twitch because I want you to. <laughs> and it's really fun to be here live and like interact with everybody and all of that stuff. Someone said, is the volume low or is it just me? How is it for everybody else? What about now? Is the volume better now? Hmm. <laughs> Same. I hate when this happens. Better now. A lot of people are saying it's fine. Interesting. Interesting. Cool. Okay, it's better now. I think it was just the angle. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it because as you can see, we have 88 slides. This is not sponsored by Celsius in any way, but I did drink not even a whole one. I drank half a Celsius, sat down for two hours, did this entire thing. The entire thing was done. I was like, boom, nailed it, done. So I have not looked at it since then. So we might go through this and be like, that was an incoherent woman. And that'll be a lesson learned for all of us. But I think it'll be good. Like, I think it will be good. Um, so let's get into Kylie Jenner. We're not going to talk about Stormy a ton just because like we already had 88 slides about Kylie mainly. Um, and like, I don't know, she's a kid and she's cute and she didn't do anything and she, she doesn't know what's going on. She's literally a baby. Let me know if that sound is still okay. I just wanted to move the mic a little bit so you could see my face. Um, did you watch Risa Tessa? I don't think so. The first time I drank a Celsius, I couldn't focus my eyes during my stat lecture. Hard seltzer to clarify. What? Anyway, so for anyone who is unaware, Kylie is the daughter of Kris Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner, formerly Bruce Jenner, when this photo was taken, um, and the younger sister of Kim Kardashian and all of the other Kardashians. So Kylie is the one that is like to Chris's right when we're looking at it. So there's the two younger ones. Kylie's the one in the middle wearing the gold tank top. That's Kylie. Who is this Ressa Tessa? And I feel like I'm not saying that correctly either. She really is giving main character in this picture. She knew it. She absolutely knew it. I feel like it's gross. You can hear me swallowing, but whatever. Also, next week, we're going to be back on Wednesday. We might switch to Tuesday permanently. Not 100% sure. Um, but next week, we will be back on Wednesday. I wanted to give the Wednesday people at least a chance to vote. I'm leaning towards switching to Tuesday. But let me do another poll and see what we like. I'm kind of liking Tuesdays, personally. I didn't see this coming, but here we are. And I'm going to write that I'm going to write this poll down and then I'm going to write down the poll I do on Wednesday and then like count it from there so that people on each day get to vote. Because one thing about me is like this is a motherfucking democracy. Like I'm not going to have a rigged ass election where the voting was only one time. You know, I guess if you come to both, you get to vote twice. But that is your privilege because it's also a dictatorship because every election I'm still going to be the one talking. It's just a matter of when. That's the only say you all get. <laughs> Oh, the 50 part TikTok. Who the fuck did I marry? So many of my students were watching that today and I saw people talking about it. I just haven't had time to watch it. Can we get a I don't know you pick button? Okay, interesting poll results so far. Tuesday stream is nice because I have class on Wednesdays. That is nice. That is a nice time. Here for the first time because I just had to be out from work today. Love that for you. Can people stop emailing me? Like, it's really getting to be rude. Like, it's incessant. Like, the amounts of emails. Ew. Why is a literal Nazi page trying to go live with me on TikTok? That's disgusting. Get out. <laughs> um, Hearing her talk about the Marietta 
area and being from around here is crazy. I'm in the whatever works best for you. But so far, Tuesdays are winning. Anyway, we'll let that keep going while we continue with Miss Kylie. So this is her current wiki bio, just for people that are like not a part of the Kardashian cinematic universe. Kylie Kristen Jenner was born August 10th, 1997. She's an American socialite, media personality, and businesswoman. She starred in the e-reality TV series Keeping Up with the Kardashians from 2007 to 2021 and the Hulu TV series The Kardashians. She is the founder and owner of a cosmetics company, and she is the fifth most followed person on Instagram so just kind of like if you have no idea who this woman is that's about as clear as I could get for you and then let me be ready to do sorry I'm like standing at the ready to screenshot the poll because it literally stays for like two seconds so I'm like holding it down waiting for it to be done okay cool Tuesday's one I'll do a poll on Wednesday and then after that we'll just decide yay so oh my god my contacts are dry I hate when this happens. So Kylie Jenner was born, like we said, August 10th, 1997 in Los Angeles, California. Um, daughter of Caitlyn Jenner, the um, I was about to say the triathlete, which that's wrong. The Olympic champion. Sorry. Um, and Chris Jenner, both of her parents' sides, her ancestry, she's white, whatever. We know this. She has an older sister, Kendall, and then eight half siblings so from Caitlin's side of the family she has three older half brothers Bert Brandon and Brody the the consistency with the names what do you think it means that Kylie and I share a birthday what doesn't it mean you know what I mean like I think that is so open to interpretation I would need to know you better I think right off the bat it's that you are meant to be living as her and she is supposed to be in your shoes. And there was a terrible mistake. Um, oh, yes. Caitlin has other kids. Caitlin absolutely has other kids. Um, where was I? And then from Chris's side of the family, she has Courtney, Kim, and Chloe, and then Rob Kardashian. Her parents divorced in 2015, for those of you who didn't know that, prior to her father's transition. She attended Sierra Canyon School, where she was a member of the cheerleading team. She claims to have performed in plays while attending school, along with the community plays. So there are claims of acting, but I could not find verification of acting. The real question is, does Caitlyn know she has kids? <laughs> that I cannot speak to. I cannot speak to Caitlyn Jenner's awareness of her own children. That I, I am unaware. I'm completely unaware of that. I have no idea. Um, but in 2012, she started becoming homeschooled. And she was homeschooled until she graduated from high school. So she was born in 97. So in 2012, she would have been like 15. So she was homeschooled for pretty much all of high school. Just for context, which I think is quite telling. Also, I'm pretty sure the homeschool she went to, Laurel Springs School, someone else that we talked about went there. I don't remember if it was like Alexis Nyers or like, but someone else went there. Someone else went there. I don't know who I don't know who it was. Who was her teacher? I know not Chris. I'm assuming it was online and then Chris just like paid some assistant to do it. Like I'm sure whoever was the Kardashians assistant from like 2015 to 2019. I'm sure that they know a lot of chemistry, American literature. Like, I'm sure they are well-versed in that. I'm 100% sure of that. And, like, no tea, no shade. I've never been famous, so I don't know what that's fucking like. <laughs> Look how blue my teeth are. Um, so I don't know what that's like, but what I will say is I feel – if I, I'm biased. I'm a teacher, so I know I'm biased. I feel no, how, no matter how famous I was – I would make my kid do their math homework. You know, like, I fuck you. Like, no, you're not cheating on this. I'm not having my assistant do it. Like, I don't care that we're rich. I literally don't. You're doing your work. I don't know what you thought this was. Like, be serious. If anything, I'd make them do their work even harder. Like, I'd have them, like, learning Mandarin after school and shit. Like, oh, we have money? More learning. Great. The more money I have, the more you'll learn. You should be praying for my downfall. Um... I'm not having a kid with no work ethic. So boring, right? You will be somewhat competent. Like you need to have a high school education. I'm sorry. Like call me an elitist. You need to have a high school education. I'm just, that's how I feel about the situation. Do I feel that we need to revolutionize high school curriculum? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can talk about that all day, every day, baby. 
But at the end of the day, you do need a high school education. Those things don't have to be mutually exclusive. But anyway, oh my God, that went for a left. So if you if you want to watch Teacher Quit Talk every week on every podcast platform you could possibly imagine. Um, so career 2007 to 2012, absolutely hilarious that her career section starts when she's 10 years old. Um, she was the original like kid influencer like this is this era when she was becoming famous this is also when like mommy bloggers started to become a thing like 2007 like Kylie was at the forefront of famous children and I think that that probably affected her in deeply deeply like profound ways that we could never understand that I lay awake at night wondering if she understands or has even gone there what do you guys think? Who's to say? You know what I mean? So in 2007, the entire family went on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. If you don't know what Keeping Up with the Kardashians is, I don't. I like where have you been? <laughs> it sounds so peaceful. Uh, it's a reality show about a rich family being rich. And it's why Kim Kardashian is. Yeah, that. So the series was successful. So it had a ton of different spinoffs. Courtney and Kim take Miami. Chloe and Lamar. Courtney and Kim take New York. Courtney and Chloe take the Hamptons. Blah, 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 blah. Kylie had guest appearances on pretty much all of the spinoffs in addition to being on the main show as one of the main people on it, especially because Kris Jenner's running that bitch. Like, Kris Jenner's running that bitch, and at this point, she lives with Kris Jenner. So it's like, get up. You're on camera. Like, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. You're America's famous child. Get on camera. So, anywho, I was about to say any whoozle. Fraz has entered the chat. Not literally, but I can feel her here figuratively. I also think she just texted me. But anyway, I lost my place. So Kendall and Kylie were kind of like intertwined as one being, if you will, for these years. They very much did gigs together. It was kind of like a two-in-one package deal. Like, I think Chris was trying to spin them as, like, the brunette Olsen twins, but they're not actually twins. I think Kendall's a year or two older. Not very much. They're very, very close in age. Um, no, they are not twins. A lot of people assumed that, but it, they are not twins. They're just very close in age. So they did a lot of things together. So you'll notice this early career section. It says the sisters a lot. Um, Kendall is a conversation for another day. I don't understand her at all. I would love to have a conversation with her. I don't get her. Like Kylie, I feel like I could have a conversation with Kendall. I feel like not, a, not a like super meaningful conversation, but I think like Kylie and I could like have small talk and it would be fine. Like if she was my friend's friend, like I could sit next to her at a birthday dinner, but Kendall, I just feel like I would be like, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> I have no idea. No clue. So they hosted Glee, the 3D concert movie. Chris Jenner had these girls working. She said, I don't care if you're 11. You're hosting the Glee 3D concert movie. I don't give a fuck. Um, they were featured in 17 magazines, style stars of the year, selecting them as style ambassador. Pretty ambitious to be in 17 magazine at age 14. Oh, I would have been bragging about that at school for sure. I can see why she is the way she is. Um, they hosted the premiere of The Vow. They also interviewed the cast of The Hunger Games at the premiere at the Nokia Theater in Los Angeles. And they also starred in America's Next Top Model with Chris. They were all in it together. So let me switch the mic real quick. We might watch this whole thing because honestly, it is pretty, pretty artistic if you will. But these are some clips from the early days of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. This is Kendall and Kylie, but like I said, at first they were really like a duo. So that's why in their childhood especially, we're talking about both of them, but we will stop talking about Kendall soon. And for those of you on um, TikTok, you should come to Twitch because you can't see the videos on TikTok. And for those of you on YouTube, this is why you should watch on Twitch because a lot of this stuff gets clipped out. Lately, I've kind of been like on my demonetization train and like letting it be in because I think it's just so much better with it in. But, you know, sometimes it still gets clipped out. Even if I'm like, I don't care. I'm Mother Teresa. I don't need the money. Sometimes they're still like, it's copyright. We're clipping it out. We don't care. Um, so who's to say? Why is this so quiet? Why is this literally so quiet? Oh, I see why, my dumb ass. Okay, there we go. 
No, you're picking the wrong number. <laughs> so take a chill pill. Stop. Relax. You guys, stop it. She hit me first. Mom! <laughs> That's one of the Brody boys. We're gonna have two cocktails on the rock. Make them strong, Derek. <laughs> two cocktails coming up. Look They're so unhinged. Look at them. They're insane. The matching outfits. Oh god! Oh, oh, ow. Yeah, the way they fight. They're so white American middle class sisters. I was so confused. So funny. You look so cute. Someone said, Is Kylie having a graduation? I got invited. And I said no. Wait, someone said someone that, to, said me that to me. And I was like, no. The graduation party is really sweet and really cute. A little bit late, but really sweet and really cute. Grab me heels, Kylie. Come in. Just wear those. Who cares? The graduates of 2014 and 2015. Kendall and Kylie. Of course, they have a graduation at their house. Can they have nothing normal? And why is Ryan Seacrest there? Ever That's his name, I was right? Probably 15, I've been obsessed with lipstick, and I was insecure about my lips. I know my lips look really cute. You guys, I look hideous. Why didn't you tell me? So I went to a store and I bought every single lip liner that looked like the color of my lips. So people didn't think I was wearing lip liner. And I would just like overline my lips as much as I could. But I could never find a lip liner. And okay, we'll get into all of her makeup stuff. But that's kind of like her early on the show. This is her doing that Hunger Games interview that I talked about. So her and Kendall doing thing on. So let me switch the mic again. We've been here for 30 minutes and we're on slanty. Absolutely incredible. So <clears throat> there is their 17 magazine cover. Um, we're just going to kind of like watch this on silent real quick because the music is like very loud and I don't want it to get copyright dinged but like I said they were on America's Next Top Model here's some of the photos from that so unfortunately they're more focused on the models than Kendall and Kylie and Chris but you can see they are definitely in the photos from the America's Next Top Model shoot way back when um Chris Jenner had this girl homeschooling and working this era she's like 10 to 16 17 years old and she is really really working so they the Jenner sisters co-hosted the 2014 mu much music video awards I have literally never heard of that I don't know what that is where Kylie made her acting debut in a promo for the show Toronto Ontario Canada whatever the fuck that means um and they also appeared in a party next door music video she also appeared in Jaden Smith's music video and Kendall or bleh, Kylie and Kendall also co-authored a science fiction novel they definitely did not write that book I don't even think they read that book oh it's a Canadian award show got it um I need to know who actually wrote that book the ghostwriter is Maya Sloan that I can answer for you so it was heavily criticized upon its release as ghost written work ghostwriting is when you pay someone to write a book Lots of people do it. Lots of celebrities have that done for their memoir. The way that ghost writing is supposed to work is you kind of make an outline and then they write pieces and you write pieces, but they're really putting it together and creating the flow and all that. But it's supposed to be kind of a mix of the two of you. That's like the idea. But what a lot of celebrities do is like, here's a check, write a book. I'll read it for approval. And that's it. I do that for a job. It's thankless at times. Oh, really? It's going... Going for the sci-fi genre was crazy. So, where was I? It was heavily criticized because of the ghost writing. Apparently, the Jenner sisters wrote a two-page outline. I feel like they did not write that. I feel like an assistant wrote that. They don't have a high school education. How did they write a book? Um, for what they wanted the novel to be like. So, apparently, all they did was that outline, and then she wrote the book. But, obviously, they denied this. The Jenner's creative director, Elizabeth Kilmon Roman, clarified that they had numerous Skype and FaceTime calls to discuss the content, and it was mostly panned by critics and only sold 13,000 copies. That is not many at all. I do respect them for not just buying a million copies and calling it a bestseller. I like that they were real about it. And the book was given a sequel, Time of the Twins, which was also co-authored by the Jenner sisters. I had no idea that it had a sequel. Did you all know that, that it had a sequel? 
Chris Jenner is the definition of hustle culture. So this is them co-hosting this music video awards. I'm going to warn you. This video is weird as fuck and I don't know what's happening in it. <gasps> nice try. <laughs> Kendall and Kylie Jenner co-host the 2014 MMBAs Sunday, June 15th on Much. Whatever. Like, I... Okay. I don't know what to tell you all about that. I have nothing to say for myself. About that. I'm embarrassed. Like, I am embarrassed. Save my screams. Sure. Sure. Whatever that fucking means. That's literally fine. That's totally fine. I don't even care. That's perfect. Sounds amazing. What is much? So this is also when Kylie started dating Jaden. I didn't mean to do him so dirty with this picture. This is very unflattering. There's lots of better photos of him. But they literally just look like such little teenagers. They're just like literally radiating eighth grade. Absolutely radiating eighth grade they never officially revealed that they were in a relationship but there were many signs that they were more than friends in april 2013 smith was 14 at the time told wonderland magazine i was in la we were all hanging out i went to new york she came too. then she came here to london and surprised me so that's pretty baller that is so developmentally inappropriate to have, be a 14 year old and have access to that wow um, she's one of my best friends. It's pretty awesome. And also, like, that's so rich 14-year-old to, like, be like, I'm going to surprise him. Like, don't do that. Like, I'm telling you not to do that, please. Um, it's so weird to have magazines reporting on 14-year-old relationships, right? Imagine how embarrassing it would be to date publicly at, like, 14 very odd the whole situation is very odd and she had kind words to say about him for his 15th birthday posting a photo that captioned him as the best friend couldn't be more grateful that we did meet so great you understand me like not many do and I know you always know the right time to make me laugh and this is when Jaden introduced Kylie to Jordan Woods Jordan Woods will be coming back around. We're going to end the night with Jordan Woods just to keep you updated on what's to come. So this is when they were walking out of a movie theater. I love like teenagers are so funny. They're so funny the way they were making out in that movie theater. Absolutely hilarious. And to be 14 and have paparazzi photos of you making out in the movie theater. I don't think I could ever recover from this. Like that is an absolute fucking nightmare. Um, look at her rings and her nails. Like she really was the it girl of the time, like very much so. And I know that they denied they dated, but like they were the it couple. Like at that time, if y'all remember social media in this era, they were the it couple. Like this is our Brad and Angelina. Like this on Instagram, you had to be there. You simply had to be there for the Chevron, the EOS chapstick, the Tumblr, like this era, like the King Kylie era, like you had to be there. Did they break the internet before her sister did? So this is something that I'm going to try not to laugh at because I think that Kylie is 17 here. And I think that when 17 year olds try new things, we should not shame them and we should clap for them and their accomplishments and what they are doing. And I think that that is very, very important. And so I am not going to laugh at the Jenner sisters being booed while introducing Kanye West at the Billboard Music Awards in May of 2015. And please welcome, from Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kendall and Kylie Jenner. It's an honor to introduce this great artist, a friend, an inspiration, a brother, and now so yes, they are getting booed. And yes, I'll switch the mic back. I just do it so you can hear the videos. Um, they are getting booed, which is unfortunate for them. Absolutely hate that for them. Um, this is like 2015 to 2018. Feels insulting that while I was graduating high school, they were doing this. Um, interesting. Me and Kylie are roughly the same age. I'm a little bit younger than her. So in May 2015 on an episode 
of Keeping the Kardashians premiered in which Kylie admitted to getting lip fillers. Um, They had gained a lot of publicity prior to the episode's debut. She had always said, it's just liner. It's just liner. I'm just really into makeup. And then she finally was like, I'm going to come clean. I'm going to be real. I have lip fillers. Um, As a result, the Kylie Jenner challenge went through, which is like, I thought about doing it before I went on, but I didn't want to get a hickey around my mouth and then have to go to work and explain that I have a hickey from doing the Kylie Jenner lip challenge on Twitch. I didn't really think I could recover from that. Um, So I didn't do it. Um, And I don't know how to overline my lips. So I didn't do that either. But it's where you like suck on like a bottle cap or something like that. And it makes your lips really swell up. But it can give you bruises and you can like fuck shit up. So maybe don't do that. Um, And Jenner responded responded to this by saying, I'm not here to try and encourage people or young girls to look like me or to think this is the way that they should look. A shot glass. Yes, a lot of people do that. That looks like Tana in the center. (laughs) Stop. So... Immediately following this, right after the Kylie Jenner lip challenge or lip. Yeah, the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. She announced that she was coming out with Kylie lip kits. I'm not going to switch the mic because this is super short. Hopefully you can hear it, but it's literally just like background music. And this is the launch of her lip kits. BFF supporting her so I meant to put this in here but I forgot so I'm going to show you in a second right now um a lot of people really hated these so let me show you a couple of photos that people posted give me one second to find them I had them and I forgot to put them in there So people complained that they were super, super dry and basically just like not very effective for how expensive they were. Um, uh, Let me find. Where's this picture I had? I remember the lipstick smelling strongly of vanilla. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have a couple different ones. This is like a beauty YouTuber reviewing the lipstick. Um, This is people complaining that the like bottles were all fucked up and the packaging was bad. And then this is people complaining that it's super dry and dries out your face. So that is less than ideal. But this is when they were launched. So Kylie Jenner apparently used $250,000 of her modeling earnings to launch the lip kits. So we'll get into later when people got mad at her calling herself and Forbes calling her a self-made billionaire because she's like, technically, it was my modeling earnings, but... I'm sure we can all see why that's not the same thing. It's crazy when you think about how long she's been in the makeup industry. I forgot about the OG lip kit. Matte lipstick still haunts me. My sister was buying them when they first came out and selling them on eBay for $100. Yeah, I think they were like 40 bucks, literally for one. So in February 2016, it changed from Kylie Lip Kit to Kylie Cosmetics. And the number of kits produced went from the initial 15,000 to 500,000. And she pr- released a three minute promotional video for lip glosses. We're not going to watch that, but there was a bunch of models in it. And then she in 2017 was placed 59 on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list, which is the 100 highest paid celebrities after earning $41 million. And she was the youngest person on this list at 19 years old um and then she starred in a reality show revolving around her life called life of kylie uh, which appeared on which premiered august 2017 Then on Mother's Day 2018, she launched a makeup line called Chris Cosmetics in collaboration with her mom, Chris Jenner, so cute. Um, And her and her sister, Kim Kardashian, launched a collaboration as well with Kim Kardashian's makeup line um, on Black Friday 2018. And then the same month, she launched the Kylie Cosmetics mobile app. I don't know why you would need a mobile app for that. Oh yes. The year of realizing things. I'm going to pull that up right now. We're literally getting so distracted, but there's so many little like lore pieces. So this is why I can't drink Celsius and make these because I forget the little funny memes. Um, 
I forget the little funny memes to add in because I'm too focused. incredible get the kylie app you guys get the kylie app um in 2016 she was also criticized for posting herself wearing cornrows this has happened multiple times on multiple platforms she has done this just to give everybody a heads up this is also random as fuck can someone explain why this happened to me in april 2017 she made a surprise appearance at a high school prom she would be 19 at this time so it's like not crazy for her to be at prom, but like, girl, what you doing? Um, alongside Junior Albert Ochoa after hearing that his date had turned him down. Who is this boy? Is he like who famous or like did something happen to him? Like why? Why is, is this like a sympathy thing? He looks pretty normal. Like I don't. Were they dating? Like what is? Does anyone know? I'm just gonna give people a minute to kind of explain. I think it was a very intentional publicity stunt. But, like, that's what I mean. Why him? Like, is he famous or something? Celebs were just turning up at proms during this era for some reason. I think he asked her and it went viral. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's why I was like, did she literally just, like, walk around Sacramento and, like, try and find somebody? Like, how how did this happen? He shouted her out. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So... No, he just DMs her. Come to prom with me. It's fucking Kylie Jenner. And she's like, fuck it. Yeah. It's like, isn't there a couple that invited the queen to their wedding? And she like pulled up. RIP. RIP. Isn't it crazy that um, King Charles is only going to be king for like five minutes because he's unwell? Found that interesting. Anyway, so Kendall and Kylie created a rock versus rap collection it's not ideal. I'm going to be honest with you. It's pretty rough. It was a line of vintage t-shirts featuring various rock and rap artists like Tupac, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin with pictures of Kendall and Kylie over them. So it's like the rocker with Kendall Jenner. This was met with a lot of backlash. Naturally, people were upset about this, um, including the families of these people. Like mother of Biggie Smalls was very like, don't do that. That's really fucking rude. Um, and they were criticized on social media being called insensitive and the doors manager and the estate of Jim Morrison issued a cease and desist writing that they did not authorize the use of these musical icons so they apologized and pulled the shirts from retails pretty immediately um it is somehow worse than I expected I don't know what I expected but it is worse than that Tupac Kendall Kylie I'm not really like a rap historian. I don't really listen to rap music, but I do know that that's wrong and you should not have done that. Dying to know if anyone has these. It's probably on Depop for like $5,000. Now, Kris Jenner probably burned all of these herself. She probably like sent her little minions around to like grab them and burn them all in her backyard. Um, so more career lore. We're almost done with career lore and then we will get into personal mess. So do not worry your pretty little heads. But April 2019, um, Kylie and Kim teamed up to launch a new fragrance. Yay. This is also when Kylie's skin was launched was in May of 2019 where they had face washes, scrubs, makeup, removing wipes, all that bullshit like that. And Kylie Cosmetics collabed with Chloe again. They're literally just like You'll know it's the Kardashians. They just pass each other around, basically. So this is just some lore about their um, collaborations with each other. But Kylie Jenner sold 51% stake in Kylie Cosmetics to Coty or C-O-T-Y. And they own a bunch of different brands. CoverGirl, OPI, um, Clariol, like a bunch of different makeup beauty brands. The reason 51% is important is because that is a controlling stake. So like, let's say you want to come out with a new logo. Let's say you own 51% of the business and I own 49%. You win. In any argument, you get the final say because you own more of the business. 
So that's why it's 51%. And that's why that is important of who owns the majority of it. She got dragged for barely using her products because she has a walnut face scrub. And someone said the leaps and bounds in chemical exfoliants at the cutting edge of skincare. And you and your team give us a St. Ives Apricot 2.0, the nerve. Because apparently, I'm not a skincare expert, but I know you're not supposed to use things with little beads in them because they're tearing your skin open. You should use a um, like a chemical exfoliant. I use the Dr. Gross one. It's really good, but... Just some little face lore for you. So it was off to a rough start. Like I said, they had a bunch of different products. The line caused a lot of controversy because a lot of the products do more harm than good. And this left many followers wondering if she even uses these products. I don't think she does. Um, And kind of to saying it was like dishonest advertising because she also gets really expensive dermatology treatments and like facials and things like that. And then everyone started losing it over a video she posted. We'll watch it in a second where she uses the face wash, but then like there's still a shit ton of makeup on her face so we'll just watch the video and the way it's literally with like an instagram filter i bet you money her team was begging her for this for weeks i bet it took her weeks to get this done and then she sent them this with an instagram filter filmed up and down instead of side to side and they were like fuck it it's what we have so look how there's still so much foundation on the towel yeah so then it's just like the rest of her instagram story but this is also when she had her Forbes cover. What I will say, at least the product touched her face. Two swipes on the forehead is usually all I do. So what I will say, it seems like her business model, someone was like, did her products get better? It seems like her business model is to come out with a limited drop that fucking sucks because she knows people are going to buy it. So who the fuck cares? And then they fix stuff and it gets slightly better. Are we getting streams on the rest of the family? Maybe. I kind of want to do one on Rob Kardashian, you know? But anyway, this is around the time that she was on the Forbes cover. This is in 2018, I believe. The title of this magazine is America's Women Billionaires. From a trucking titan to the immigrant taking on Elon Musk in space, our annual ranking of the 60 richest self-made women. So a lot of people are upset that Kylie Jenner is on the cover of a magazine for self-made women. Whoever thought of this at Forbes, you are a fucking genius. Because who gave a shit about Forbes magazine? Nobody. No one cares about Forbes magazine but you put Kylie Jenner on there and called her self-made oh you have a mind for marketing and I think you've killed people such a genius like that is so insulting that got people riled the fuck up so she appeared on the cover of the magazine claiming she had a net worth of 900 million and that she was on the verge of becoming the youngest self-made billionaire and she would beat Mark Zuckerberg who became a billionaire at 23 nom 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 eat them all. So the publication's use of the term self-made got a ton of criticism. Naturally, um, celebrities such as Jenner's um, siblings came out to defend her. And so did Paris Hilton being like, Paris Hilton was like, well, I'm self-made too. None of you are. It's literally fine that you're not like, it's fine that you're not self-made. I, that's literally fine. Where can I watch live with the 87 slideshow? It's on Twitch. Um, it's literally fine that you're not self-made. No one's mad. Just stop saying that you are and everyone will stop. So in May 2020, Forbes released a document that accused Jenner of forging tax documents so that she would appear as a billionaire. The publication also accused her of fabricating revenue figures for Kylie Cosmetics. The same day, Jenner responded in a series of tweets writing, what am I even waking up to? I thought this was a reputable site. All I see is it is our in 
All I see are a number of inaccurate statements and unproven assumptions. LOL. I never asked for any title or tried to lie my way there ever, period. Jenner's attorneys also demanded that Forbes retract the statements, calling the magazine accusations unequivocally false. And Forbes reacted, stating that they spent months uncovering these facts. Like the way that she's beefing with Forbes magazine is actually so hilarious. Um, saying they spent months uncovering these facts and concluded that their extensively reported investigation was triggered by newly filed documents that revealed the glaring discrepancies between the information privately supplied to journalists and information publicly supplied to shareholders. Um, however, Jenner became the youngest woman on Jenner became the youngest on the Forbes list in 2020 when her net worth was 700 million. So it appears their beef was short lived, but this is I made this meme and I think it just really exemplifies the scenario because who the fuck cares? Like literally who the fuck cares? I'm so sorry, but like I don't give a fuck if Kylie Jenner is a billionaire or not. I literally don't have a single fiber in my being that cares. I know that I'm literally doing a live stream about it right now. So clearly I care a little bit, but I just think it's so funny how much journalistic resources went to this. Like we should have journalistic resources fucking like investigating corruption or like corruptive spending within the school system like can y'all be doing that I don't care if Kylie Jenner lied about Kylie Cosmetics I don't care I do not care I don't care do something else find something to do thank you so current finances and business dealings she continues to expand her business with like things like Kylie Swim Kylie Baby tons of shit like that um and documents show that the business was much smaller which is why she lost her billionaire title like we said and they now peg Kylie's net worth at around 680 million and right now she owns an estimated 44 percent of Kylie Cosmetics so she's definitely rich as fuck and definitely owns a big part of these businesses but um that's really all there is to say about it. Like, it's really not that exciting. So various lawsuits and civil disputes. So Valida Hagerty, in 2017, a makeup artist claimed that Jenner had stolen the creative style and aesthetic of her own work, such as the dripping lip gloss and golden finger trips, fingertips for her own products, and that Jenner had a history of taking Hagerty's original dripping lip art and passing it off as her own. Jenner later credited Valda on social media and her work on the creative of the logo and an undis and an undisclosed settlement was paid to avoid any future legal issues. Very Chris Jenner, undisclosed settlement. The Kylie trademark, an Australian singer, Kylie Manju, won a legal battle for the trademark of the name Kylie. Um, Jenner had filed a U.S. trademark for the use of the name for advertising and endorsement services. That's crazy that you can't even trademark your own name. Wow. Neon lip logo, Sarah Pope, a British painter whose work had been featured in several art galleries across the world, filed a lawsuit against Jenner and NBC Universal for the use of a neon lip logo. Pope stated that Jenner posted to her social media account an image that was remarkably similar to um, Pope's most famous piece, Tempt Temptation Neon. Let me look this up and used it to promote the TV series Life of Kylie. So a lot of her um, like advertising had lips on it because, you know, what's what's anything in this life if it's not brand recognition? Oh, yeah, this is pretty bad. Yep, yep, yep. OK, so it's this like neon lip thing. So the one on the left is the artist and then the one on the right is the one that Kylie Jenner was using. Yep that'll stand up in court it's on the same side even all right so where was I and then Seed Beauty filed a lawsuit alleging that um there were like insider trading secrets and that is why Coty bought part of Kylie Cosmetics but that's still being worked out I think I don't think that case is resolved yet so let's get into personal stuff now that's business that's childhood let's get into relationships friendships all of the things so I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer she has dated a few different rappers I do not know anything about rap so I really don't know who most of these people are so we're only going to talk about them in the realm of the Kylie cinematic universe but I did want to acknowledge that these are very famous people with widely successful careers. I just don't know about them. So we're not going to talk about them. 
So there's going to be a lot of famous people mentioned that I'm sure people have thoughts about. And I'm sure some people have done great things and some people have done terrible things. And I'm telling you, I don't know about any of them other than what is in the Kylie Jenner universe. So if I bring up someone that we hate, I'm sorry. If I bring up someone that we love and I don't do them justice, I'm sorry. I don't know these people, unfortunately. So Jenner's first long-term relationship at age motherfucking 16 um, was with rapper Tyga. The former couple met at her 16th birthday party. Not her 16th, Kendall's 16th. That's worse. It's worse. So they met at Kendall's 16th birthday party. At this point, Kylie was like 13 or 14 and Tyga was 22. Let's marinate with that for a moment. Sit with it. Ponder it. Excellent meme choice. Thank you. It's not allowed. Um, so this video did not come out until later. It did not come out until 2015, but this is a video of this event secretly dating at just 14. The same song, and he was, she was like, this is Kendall's favorite song. I was like, she's 15. She's 16. Now she is. Oh, well, we can for me. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, get, let's get, what is it? Get nasty? Make it nasty. Let's make it nasty, I guess, right? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Make it nasty, honey. <laughs> Chris Jenner's not even here. They're gonna play the song Make It Nasty, I think. Can I just say, it might be because I'm a teacher, but I really feel like a chaperone right now, and I like don't know what to do about the situation. You know when you're a 22-year-old man, so you're at a party with a bunch of teenagers singing ass so fat I need a lap dance? You know when that happens? I just want to say the DJ noises where it goes purr, 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 that is my text ringtone. So anytime someone texts me, it does that and it makes the whole long sound. Oh, everybody put your hands up like this. We're going to do it like this for the last song. Everybody put your hands in the air like this for a time. Happy birthday, Kendall. Let's do it. Happy birthday, Kendall. Happy birthday, So we're done with that. We're going to cut that off right about there. I am absolutely done with whatever that was. Um, so moving on to some other disturbing things. Um, it wasn't until three years later that they were seen together again. So that is when they met was when she was 14. But then they were together again at her 17th birthday party when he hosted her 17th birthday party. Why do you keep hosting the Jenner girls' birthday parties? That seems really, like, if I had a nickel for every time that, that Tyga hosted a Jenner teenage birthday party, I would have two nickels. It's weird that it happened twice. Like, why do you keep hosting teenagers' birthday parties? It's a really, I'm unclear about why this is happening. Chris Brown is there. Chris Brown's a terrible person. And normally... I only put the image, but I liked the Reddit comment along with this image. What are all these grown men doing at Kylie's 17th birthday party? I'm really so confused. Kim laid the foundation, I guess. Oh, no, we'll talk about who laid the foundation. Um, so this is when Tyga was engaged to Black China. This is the part where I said I don't know anything about this. Tyga was engaged to Black China, hosted Kylie's birthday at his home, if I was engaged to a man and he was hosting a teenager's birthday party, not the greenest of flags. A couple days after this birthday party, Tyga called off his engagement to Black China and he has one child with her. So, 
yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And I'm really, where are the parents? Where is a single guardian? Where where is a single adult with a grasp on reality? Isn't Black China also Rob's baby mom? This is the part where I don't know. I have no idea. Basically, we can do five degrees of Kylie liner. Kylie can't wear eyeliner, but she can date a grown man. Caitlin's like, you cannot wear that much eyeliner to school. I can excuse dating a grown man, but eyeliner is where I draw the line. China and Rob had dream. Yes, she is. Yes. The plot thickens. She fucked her brother and had his kid. See, this is what I mean. There's a lot of lore here. I knew that there was a lot of lore around this that I just personally am not privy to. I'm sure I could Google it. Um, do we feel like Tyga needed a parent too or feel like a predator vibe? No, I feel like I'm getting predator. I don't know anything about him, but the host, the hosting a teenage girl's birthday party more than once is what did it for me. More than once is what did it for me. More than once. If it happened once, I'd be like, that's fucking weird. But when it happens twice, I'm like, you should be on a list. We, we, why are you still outside? Are you allowed to be within a certain number of feet of a school? So, August 2014 is when rumors that Tyga and Black China are breaking up. And then within two months, Tyga and Kylie have their first public spotting together, going to dinner in Hollywood. Then, sorry, Tyga fails to follow up for a club appearance at the Greystone Manor in West Hollywood because they would not allow Kylie Jenner in because she was underage and they do not let minors into clubs. So I don't really think you would skip out on your own appearance if that was not like your girlfriend. Like I think that that is literally so obvious that you guys are in a very committed relationship at this point. Um, after Tyga called Drake fake in an interview with Vibe magazine, Drake fires back. See what I mean? Like I'm, I, I don't even sound right reading this. Drake fires back on his mixtape where he says, oh, you tried. It's so childish calling my name on the world stage. You need to act your age and not your girl's age. I know that Drake is also a predator, but called him out, I guess. Two people can be wrong. Um, and then the rapper made an appearance on the breakfast club shortly after that, where he said, I'm not dating Kylie. I want to be cleared everybody. I didn't leave my family to be with Kylie. That's ridiculous. And then a couple days later, um, Kanye West, who at the time was married to Kim Kardashian, <laughs> Kanye West is fucking crazy. Like Kanye West is in desperate need of mental treatment. Um, so again, literally within days, of Tyga being like, I'm not dating Kylie. This is what Kanye says. I think he got in early. I think he was smart. They're closer in age than a lot of relationships I know. I knew Tyga was smart, you know. And a piece of the interview was leaked that had apparently edited out where Kanye West says that he thinks that they're in love, but it has to be kept a secret. (laughs) Jail. Literally prison for everyone. Everyone's going to prison and you deserve it because what the fuck? Literally, (laughs) he got in early. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? I don't like that. I do not like that. He said the quiet part out loud. So like, do I like Kanye West? No, but he kind of unintentionally ate with this interview because he really... He was trying to be like, I love that man. But like you called him out like you talking about it made ever like that's insane. Like you said it out loud and you meant it in a nice way. But that's not how anyone else is taking it. At least anyone here. Literally the hot ones, Jennifer Lawrence meme. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? He got in early. What do you mean? 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 Kanye called everyone out, including himself. Ah! And then in March, literally like a month later, Tyga posted a picture of Kylie on Instagram and said, certain things catch your eye, but only a few capture the heart. 
Disgusting. Disgusting. And then in April, Tyga is seen with a tattoo that says Kylie on his inner right elbow. And then apparently he refused another event because she couldn't get in because she was 17. So not only is he a predator dating an underage girl, he's also a flaky employee and fucking unprofessional. Good to know. Pick a fucking struggle, dude. Pick a struggle, dude. What do they talk about? Which was worse? <laughs> Tyga's Kylie tattoo or Jax's Stassi tattoo? I'm going to go with Tyga because Kylie was literally 17 years old. And how do you have the audacity to be like, we're not dating. I just post pics of her on Instagram, got a tattoo and refused to go to any event without her. But we're just casual, low commitment friends and we're definitely not dating. If Tyga ever needs a job, he should not call me because I will not hire him. Um, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, I hate this so much. So Kanye, Kim, and Kylie and Tyga all go to Disneyland with Tyga's son. And this is when it was North's second birthday. Yay. I debated including pictures of all these events. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because I just don't really care about them that much. Um, and then Tiger releases a new song called Pleaser with a Z that details graphic sex with the line T nasty about to catch a felony for it. He later says the song had been written two years ago. Okay. Interesting. I'm scared. Pick me up. I'm scared. Then Khloe Kardashian was in a the magazine Complex and says that she thinks her 17-year-old sister dating 25-year-old Tyga counts as a special case and that people shouldn't judge. Kylie is not a normal 17-year-old. You're going to say, hey, so what are you doing this weekend? And have her say, having a slumber party at my girlfriend's or going to prom. That's not what Kylie does. Kylie is taking business meetings, bought her first house, or she's going on a private plane with Carl Lagerfeld to take a meeting. That's not even what people do in their 30s. It's rare circumstances. So let's treat this as a special case, a special case. Exactly. Like a victim's victim's unit, like special victim's unit case. Exactly. She's not like other girls. She's rich. So it's fine. Imagine being 25 and excusing this because your 17 year old sister is not like other girls. Her brain is not developed. No matter how many private jets you fly on, they will not give you a frontal lobe. If anything, I think they might prevent you from growing one. Jury's still out on that, though. So um, Kylie Jenner put an end to rumors that she and Tyga are getting married, posting to Twitter that she's not planning on getting married anytime soon. And then for her 18th birthday, he gave her a $320,000 Ferrari after getting another tattoo dedicated to her. And then she appeared in his music video, which contained lyrics rumored to be about her. You know, when you get your girlfriend a $320,000 car for her 18th birthday. Absolutely incredible. Um, and then now that Kylie is 18, he's on keeping up with the Kardashians because now E said, we can sign that. We could not sign that before, but now we can. So come on on the show, Tyga. Welcome to St. Barth's family vacay. Yay. Stimulated was literally scrubbed from the internet. I don't think Chloe's frontal lobe was even developed at that point. Nobody will suspect a thing. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, so more about music, the music video for Stimulated. We already talked a little bit about this. But yeah, yikes on bikes. I feel so much fucking stupider after reading that. Like, I literally feel so much dumber. Oh, to be a teenager thinking your old man boyfriend getting a tattoo for you is the most romantic thing a man could do. The most just waiting till she's 18 moment ever. But the way they didn't even wait, like the way they were going to wait, like publicly, they're like, we'll just do this in private, but we'll wait. And then everyone called them out on it. And they were just like, guys, stop for like six months. And then she turned 18 and everyone moved on. Like. Are we in the same room? Like, am I, are we all witnessing the same thing? Is that are we all seeing what's happening? So you might be asking yourself. What kind of fucking parents would allow their child to date a grown man? And to that, I say, please respect the culture and tradition of Los Angeles, California. So Chris Jenner moved in with a professional golfer when she was 17 years old and he was 29. So 
I can see why Chris Jenner was like, yeah, girl, that's the way. That's the family business, baby. Go on with your new little boyfriend. So for those of you that were here for the Chris Jenner stream, you know about this. Um, and Robert and Chris had an age gap too. So apparently she cheated on this guy with Rob. And that's why her and this guy broke up. And then I think she just moved in with Rob. Does Mr. Redacted still do the meme post at the end? Yes, I do. So very understandable. Here is some more lore from the show. There we go. Just, just a look at him. Let's run it back a second. Just look at him on that stupid little stool. Just look at him slouched over in his little matching set with his little shoes. Hmm. Hmm. Just look at him sitting there. God. Disgusting. It's from Kendall's perspective. I'm like Loki on Kendall's side because like you and your teenage sister used to literally be together like 25-8 doing every business deal together. And now 2015 is kind of the era that they split. You're never together. And then you finally schedule this like family trip and then you show up and you bring she was bringing her fucking boyfriend when like I haven't seen you and I haven't hung out with you. And like this was supposed to be a family trip. Like what are you talking about? Uh, Any hoozle. So more lore. We will kind of skim some of this because some of it is a little bit boring. Um, so do, 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 do. do I need to switch the mic? I might just leave it for a while. No, I'll switch it to Mark. So in the midst of breakup rumors, they posted a picture together that said everyone needs to chill. Um, and she was the cover girl for Complex Magazine, um, squashing those rumors. She said and spoke on her temporary split. So she was apparently rumored to be dating party next door. So she said, I'm not dating party next door. And she had a temporary split. She said, just needed to see what it was like not being with him. We realized that wasn't what we wanted. Um, and then she was in W Magazine and was with him in the shower in the photos. We're not going to look at it because I don't really feel like it. Um, then Tyga released a track with Kanye um, and name drops her. He said, Kylie Jenner thick. You got to feel me like I'm losing brain cells talking about the lore between these two people. Um, and then April 2017, they ended their relationship. Kylie later discussed this on her show, Life of Kylie. She said, absolutely. There was absolutely not one thing wrong with me and T. He and I will always, always have a bond. There was no crazy fight. We just decided, well, now that I'm really young, I don't want to look back in five years and feel like he took something from me when he's really not that type of person. So here are some pictures of them together. His wife's sister. I mean, now she's 19 and he's 27, I think. Kanye isn't good. Kanye has said a lot of things that are very, very questionable. So Travis got jump scare. Sorry about that. Here's some pictures of her with Tyga during this era. For her various makeup looks. Her being a teenager. Dating a grown man. That's absolutely what a grown man who's dating a teenager looks like right there. For a second, I thought that was Ariana, Ariana from... Vanderpump rules in the back so this is Kylie crying over Tyga so this is towards their demise I would imagine why are you taking this seriously yeah, you're so annoying. because I'm having issues but it doesn't matter this is about somebody uh, else we don't what's wrong why are you crying what are you crying about <laughs> during Chris's music video why are you crying you think I want to be here? It's your birthday tonight. You're 25 months pregnant. I don't know, but hospital. whatever she's going through. I understand that, but I we're all going through things, but let's tough it out for the one hour exactly. to make mom happy. Hi, Els. What's happened? Did you get in a fight? I don't know what to do about tea. Tea. She caught me, and I'm so patient with him. Today? Like, just now. But it's just weird, and I don't know what to do, so whatever, I'll figure it out. Well, so what do you want to do? I'm just going to go. Why don't you just... They make up something anyway. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> the biggest threat to teenage girls is grown men. They really are. I feel like this caused a lot of mental illness in her. And I'm concerned about it. So, let me switch my mic again. I think that's most of the videos for the night. I think that might be all of them. So immediately following the breakup, she was seen holding hands with Travis Scott at Coachella. So again, these people broke up. Her and Tyga broke up. I think it said April 2017. Coachella is usually in April or May. I think they have two events. So 
literally almost immediately. So let's get into the Travis Scott timeline. I'm sorry for giving you whiplash, but like that's how it happened. IRL tag in Travis. I remember what Beyonce said. Nikki called Tyga a pedo in the feeling myself music video. Interesting how the turntables. Wow. Um, Travis Scott sucks and my student died at his concert. So I, th- I did not include stuff about Astro World just because I feel like it like people died and it, this stream is just not a serious stream. So I just like didn't want to include it in something so stupid. Um, but Astro World is insane how that happened. Um, it was tra- a Travis Scott concert where people passed away because the crowd just got way too intense and it was really handled poorly and very much mismanaged. Um, feel free to look into it if you would like. The videos of it are absolutely terrifying. I remember watching them like when it happened and like seeing the videos that people had like within the crowds like immediately know. I unfollowed all after Astro World, including Kylie and Drake. Yeah. And like People weren't really addressing it like people like literally there were like people screaming like we need paramedics in the crowd and they just like kept performing and we're like it's fine. Um, So that did happen in their relationship. I made the decision not to include it in here because like I said this is just such not a serious topic and that is a serious topic that deserves like its own talking about and so that's why I didn't include it in the Kylie Jenner blah blah whatever stream. Um. Yeah, it was devastating and Kylie skirting accountability while her boyfriend was singing over my nine-year-old student being crushed was horrible. Oh, Jesus. Didn't Kylie lie about not being there? I think so. I think she was like, oh, I wasn't there, but she definitely was there. She just left. TikTok and Instagram that night were devastating. Mass trampling to death. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, that was pretty much like how they handled it. They really didn't take any accountability at all for it, which is like really depressing to think about. And like, how the fuck did that even happen? Wasn't he encouraging it? Yeah. Like he was like, I want this crowd to go fucking crazy. Like I want to see the craziest crowd. And there had been other incidents at his shows where people had gotten hurt. Um, and like there were security concerns about this and he just like didn't address them. It just seems like overall completely irresponsible planning all around. And like the biggest thing that I will say, this might be like the unpopular opinion. A lot of people are saying like, Travis Scott should have stopped it. What I'm going to say is that artists are crazy and unpredictable. And I think if we live in a world where we're relying on the artists to make it safe, we will never have safe concerts. And I think it is the fault of his managers that did not check the fuck out of him the first time it happened. The first time that someone got hurt, they needed to literally like pin him up against the wall and be like, when paramedics come out, you shut the fuck up. Like it is because his management team let his head get so over inflated that he didn't listen to anybody. So when they were telling him to shut it down, he didn't shut it down. And that is the fault of the team around him. And it's his fault for having that team around him. Like you as an artist, it's your responsibility to like have a team around you that's going to create safe environments. And it's your team's responsibility to check you. And it seems like neither people were doing that. She was pregnant at the time and thought we would just give her a pass for not acknowledging Management and production people need to be nasty over safety concerns. It's not his responsibility when he was grossly negligent at TanaCon. Yes, all in the same vein. So back to the Kylie and Travis timeline. Astroworld, we'll talk. We're not going to talk about it, but you'll see where it is in the timeline. It was a while after this. Um, But they were originally spotted, like we said, April of 2017. And apparently this said, um, do, 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 do. Travis and Kylie have been friends for a while. They all hang out when her and Tyga are having drama. She tries to make him jealous by hanging out with other guys. So apparently that is how their relationship started was her trying to make Tyga jealous. Um, and bro went to Dave and Buster's afterwards with Drake. That is the most unserious thing you could possibly do after people died at your concert is to go to Dave and Buster's with Drake. Are you kidding me? That's like, Jesus Christ. Um, 
what's messed up is as a teen before i knew he was bad i went to a jeffree star concert and he stopped a crowd crush i couldn't imagine having worse morals than jeffree star that is so true like if even jeffree star could draw the line in the sand that's really embarrassing for travis scott so then they attended a houston rockets game together showed some pda they do a club appearance they're making the influencer rounds i said i wasn't gonna include the pictures but this picture was so funny like this picture just made me laugh really really hard and so I wanted to include it because I just thought it was kind of comical so a gift from me to you um then they got matching tattoos in June of 2017 this tattoo is absolutely tiny and I feel like you could scratch it off but they're matching tattoos nonetheless being rich and in love seems quite fun they got matching rings she got a diamond necklace um apparently her family is totally on board. The Kardashian and Jenner true love Travis. Kylie and Travis are doing great. There's no drama with Travis. He's a cool guy. He treats Kylie with a lot of respect and love. Kylie is very happy. So good for them. And this is the secret pregnancy era. So to clarify, they met April 2017. Apparently in September, multiple sources confirmed to People Magazine that Kylie was pregnant with her first child. I, she is 20 at this point in time. She's 20 years old. So just out of that teen pregnancy window, but she is bringing glamour to teen pregnancy. So the source said they started telling friends a few weeks ago. The family has known for quite some time. She's really excited and so is source told the family it is an unexpected but completely amazing turn of events that she could not be more excited or thrilled about so this is from a separate article so basically she hid her entire pregnancy and just like stayed out of cameras so Kylie Jenner opened up about her secret pregnancy with Stormy so this is from an article that came out much later but is talking about the secret pregnancy which was kept private from fans and from keeping up with the Kardashian producers. So you might remember back in 2017, she shunned the spotlight for a better part of the year. And then in February 2018, they announced the news with a compilation video of the pregnancy. So <coughs> we're going to watch this. Probably not the whole thing because it's not that exciting, but we're going to watch part of it. This is literally, she just dropped this video to our daughter and said that's it. Actually, while you watch this, I'm gonna find something for you. I'm putting on a movie for you. Yeah, we're going here. We and we're waiting for you, Kylie. So this is videos of Kylie right being born. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, we're going here. Yeah. Oh my god. There you go. I'm waiting for you. Oh my god, Chris, she's beautiful. Yeah. So she's like, I was okay, born. Guys. Oh, I found out. Hello, sweetie. Whatever your name is going to be, this is how I found out about you. Your mother and I were living our lives, having fun. She met your father. Aww. And they just hit it off. Chemistry. What is this? What like? I was in your mom's bathroom with her. The way this video made me cry and feel so ready for a kid when I was 14 years old. I'm putting this on 1.25 speed i'm sorry i have to um also i watched this video when i was really really sleep deprived and i was in a cab on the way to the airport at 5 a.m and was crying just because i was so sleep deprived while watching this and she took a little test we were sitting we were sitting in the tub yeah you were sitting on the tub i was you were standing, standing by the counter and then how did she say it though and then she passed it to me after like surprise i feel like, like i'm comfortable just watching and i'm like what uh, and i didn't know that's what she was doing yeah, so when I she passed that. it to me i was like I couldn't Dude, I didn't even tell you. Oh, she like, she was like, she looked at, she gave us a look. I was like, no. Like, this is a baby. <laughs> the way they hired a literal producer. Her private birthday party because she's pregnant. We're going to skip around with some of this. 
15 weeks now. Yeah. Is she moving? Or, yeah. I want to get to the 34 weeks today. We'll go to here. Oh, we to talk about this as a joke like two years ago. I was like, Heather, you're not loud. I was like, Heather, you're next lady. Wait for me. So yeah. So yeah. What's something that's trashy if poor people do it, but classy if rich people do it? Getting pregnant at 20. Oh, this is so amazing. Hold on. So I'm 34 weeks today. There it is. One left. Um, two burgers. One for me, one for the baby. And two different fries. I like regular fries. She really likes sweet potato fries. This feels way too intimate to be a part of. Yeah. So. We're going to move on from that. We're going to move on from that. Um, like I said, we're not really going to show pics of Stormy. We're not really going to talk about Stormy a ton because Stormy didn't ask for this. But she's so fucking cute, I will say. Very cute baby. And from the videos I've seen of Kylie and Stormy, she seems like she's having a good time. Like <laughs> She seems pretty involved with her. Stormy seems very like comfortable talking and well-spoken with her mom. So good. only green flags for me. But again, it's the Kardashians. They're not going to put out anything bad. So... She opened up about why she decided to keep this news private. I've shared so much of my life. I was also really young when I got pregnant and it was just a lot. I didn't know how I would bring that to the public too um, and, you know, have everyone's opinions. I think I just needed something to go through by myself. I do really respect that, that um, she like decided to keep that to herself and she definitely hit it. She even hit it from her own producers. Um, the producer revealed Kylie was 20 and filming Life of Kylie and said, we found out she found out she was pregnant while she was filming Life of Kylie. We didn't know she hid it from the cameras. I also wanted to show you this Calvin Klein ad that she was in where she's like very obviously pregnant and they just covered it up for the ad. I'm guessing they had like already committed to doing this and she couldn't get out of it. So they literally just like covered her up for this Calvin Klein ad, which I think is really, really funny. And I just wanted to bring to everyone's attention. So the producers later found um, Kylie on film discovering she was pregnant. Before I found that footage, one of the family members told me she was pregnant, but she was keeping it a secret. I thought they were trying to set me up to try and figure out who the leak was. I was like, this person is lying just to try and see. They used to do that sometimes to try and find out who was leaking. That's crazy. Um, this was a paparazzi photo of this time, but then later people were like, that's not even Kylie Jenner. So I don't really know if that's her or not. Um, so after welcoming Stormy, it's discovered that Travis Scott does not live there. Despite being new parents, Kylie and Travis are still in a new relationship. Kylie is very happy with the living situation. So they are co-parents, but they're boyfriend and girlfriend, low commitment, long distance co-parent. Travis is a great dad when he wants to work. Kylie is supportive. She has everything she needs right now. It seems very happy. Thinking about how Jojo Siwa was trying to have a baby right now and exploit them Kardashian style. Jojo Siwa, that, I feel like with Kylie and Jojo Siwa, it's like, well, I was exploited, so that's the way. Like, I kind of hate them less for doing it because, like, it happened to you. Like, hurt people hurt people. Um, and then March 23rd, Kylie Jenner flaunts her new push present from Travis Scott. Mom and dad, and they have Lamborghinis. I don't think you can fit a... Uh, a car seat in that. And then May 2018, they make their red carpet debut at the Met Gala. I don't remember what the theme was, but they're there doing their thing. I absolutely hate, 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 hate this magazine cover. I hate everything about it. But they were on the cover of GQ's August magazine in 2018. Um, where was I? They talked about um, how they first met, how their lives changed after Stormy and the so-called Kardashian curse, um, believe, the belief that all men who date a member ultimately end up derailing. He said, I don't even be looking at motherfuckers. I don't be looking at shit. Kylie likes me for me, man. Hell nah. Nervous for what? I'm on my own island. So, hey, come over to the Astro World. We know how that turned out. I'm not into all the other shit. I don't get involved. I'm over here. Kylie is different. <laughs> the way he didn't answer the question at all. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I don't know if he wants to talk about bringing girls to an island right now. To be honest, she was partying with older guys as young as 14. Her childhood was long gone, and that's sad. Yeah, I just, I have no idea what these two talk about. Travis as a name just sounds so nerdy like he doesn't look like it doesn't look good on a magazine cover. How is Stormy acquiring language from Kylie, I think? Um, then they attended the Grammys together. Why does he look so mad in every picture? Like <sighs> So What's his real name? So Kylie Jenner debunks speculation that she and Travis Scott are engaged, or some people even said they were married. She called Travis Scott a great dad, a big kid, a fantastic partner, and she said when it happens, and she seems certain it will, she'll be sure to announce it. She said, I'll let everybody know, but a source told People Magazine, Kylie is very happy with her life. She and Travis are discussing marriage. Um, do, 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 do. So... I keep burping. Sorry. And apparently it was because she wears so many fucking rings all the time. Everyone thought she was engaged. And then later in February, um, a TMZ report surfaced that Jenner had accused Travis Scott of cheating, which prompted him to cancel his in Buffalo, New York show and remain in Los Angeles. Scott announced that they had canceled it due to his due to illness, but we don't know. And then a rep for Travis Scott strongly denied to people that he was unfaithful or that him and Kylie had fought about cheating. And Kylie's rep had no comment, which I think is very telling because usually the Jenner reps have comments. Um, then on his 28th birthday, she posted an Instagram, real life bestie and hubby. I hate when people say hubby when you're not married. I don't know why. That's like a really big ick for me. She even hinted at baby number two and said, let's fuck around and have another baby. And then in July, they said they are trying and the Kylie loves being a mom and can't wait to give Stormy a sibling. And everyone thinks Kylie will be pregnant with her second baby soon. Um... You can call me an old hag. You can call me an old, traditional, old Southern woman. But I will never, ever have a baby out of wedlock on purpose. If it happens to people, I literally have no judgment at all. Like, if it happens to you, I literally don't care. Rock on, rock star. So happy for you. Congratulations or my condolences. Whatever. But when people are like, we're planning for another baby and they're not married, like, why? And I get people have weird circumstances and whatever, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being judgmental. But if I am going like this is the way that I view it as a woman, I'm going to copy and paste for you. Like I'm going to take your DNA and make a new ass person with your DNA. You need to have some kind of government like legality involved in this. I don't know. That's just kind of the way I view it. Um did you do maybe they were already married but it was before she was 18 and they have to hide it I don't think they are legally married though right if it happens that's life but to try literally the main reason for legal marriage um do, 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 do. Yeah, don't trauma dump on me I'm sorry that some of you have marriages that didn't work out I'm just saying that's just not how I would go about things it's like insurance so this photo is kind of horrifying they were in Playboy's pleasure issue where they admitted the arrival of their daughter had gotten away of ha hasn't gotten away in the way of their physical level I don't even want to read this literally horrifying um what I will say is Kylie said, you can be sexy and still be a badass mom, especially when you have thousands of dollars worth of um, dermatological procedures. Why is she always naked and he's always close? Why do we need to know that? It would be too serious for them. They want to be casual. That's what I'm getting. Like, mm -hmm. if you ha if you like get married, whatever, I don't care. But the way they're just so casual about it is what bothers me. So they announced they were taking a break October 2019. Very interesting. They revealed they're taking some time, but not done. They still have some trust issues, but their problems have stemmed from the stress of their lifestyle. And then there was a rumor that Kylie was getting involved with Drake. He and Kylie have been spending time together. They've been friends for so long, and Drake is close to the family. And then another insider insisted they were just friends. They reunite for Stormy's birthday. They go to after parties together. Travis Scott is reportedly not thrilled that Jenner may be moving on. 
Um, so he's not happy. She's hanging out with guys, whatever. Kylie doesn't want this public back and forth when it comes to their relationship. When she's ready to announce they'll back together, she will. So for now, they're great and happy. They spend most days together with Stormy. So they're together. They're not together. Whatever, man. Um, and Kylie Jenner shows a Travis Scott love on his birthday. And they were uh, largely out of the public eye and off of each other's social media because of COVID for a while. Next year, she wishes him another happy birthday. They go into Miami together. He wishes her a happy Mother's Day. It's just whatever, man. I also feel like she feels like she doesn't need him around. I feel like they don't hang out, you know? Chris would get her the world's most indestructible prenup. What's the issue? That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I'm going back to the marriage thing. I'm sorry. Marriage is less of a commitment than having kids, because if you marry someone, you can just get divorced from them. But having kids, it's like I'm going to have to know about your existence for fucking ever. Literally, because I know people that get divorced and never speak to that person again. Like if they didn't have kids, they can clean break it. But if you have kids, you can't do that. So that's why to me, people that are like, Oh, I can't get married, but we can have a baby. It's like, I'm, I'm confused. Are you confused about the commitment of a baby? Do me and you have different ideas about this? But anyway, May 2021, they're not exclusively dating, but they care for each other. They love each other, yada, 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 whatever. And Kylie is not seeing one else, anyone else at that point in time. They remained friendly through their split and prioritized co-parenting and continued to spend a lot of time together, not putting pressure on the relationship, family situation. They love each other. Everything's great. Stormy's so happy, blah, 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 blah. They appear on the red carpet together as a family. And then August 20th, People Magazine confirms they are expecting their second child. Whiplash. I am getting whiplash. It's funny because Chris is one, Chris is one to push for marriage. Interesting. I had not thought about that. Maybe that's why Kylie doesn't want to get married because she knows it's all her mom wants her to do. Maybe we're getting into like some mommy issues here. That's a very, very interesting do y'all remember the drama of the other woman claiming Travis was just there to provide a baby for Kylie? That's like low key what it's giving to me. And I remember in a clip one time, Kim Kardashian was saying like she didn't care if she got divorced. She just didn't want to have multiple baby daddies. And I feel like that's what this is giving where it's like, I want more kids and I don't want to have to deal with like multiple people in that realm. So we're just going to do this again, even though we're not together is kind of what I feel this is. Um, It's like Court wanting to have another baby with Scott just because it's easier. So Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott welcome their second baby, February 2nd, 2022. Great birthday. Um, They named their son Wolf, but they later changed it. And he was born just one day after Stormy's fourth birthday. So that's fun for birthday parties, I guess, or terrible. And you'd feel like you never had full attention, but I'm not a parent. Who knows? So they revealed they are changing the name of their son. FYI, our son's name isn't Wolf anymore. We just didn't really feel like it was him. Just wanted to share because I kept seeing Wolf everywhere. And they eventually changed their son's name because they didn't like it. Um, What's his new name? It's Ari, I think. His new name is Ari. I don't know how that wasn't in there. Um, Ari, Ari, I don't know. So Kylie Jenner, I literally cannot believe that this was... It's been six weeks. JK, new name, new baby. Air. Oh, it's just pronounced like air. That's annoying. But I could not believe that this was in a magazine article. Like, I think this was in a page six article. Kylie Jenner makes a sandwich for Travis Scott. A journalist was paid money to write this or a journalist had chat GPT write this. Jenner showed off her sandwich making skills on Instagram, posting various ingredients like Italian sub rolls, fresh pickles, cheese, turkey, salami and mustard and salad dressing. She captioned the series of photo. Bay said, I want a sandwich. Other images included the couple enjoying sandwiches together. (sighs) I'm so tired. Like. Why, why do we know that? There's no reason for us to know that at all. And then Travis Scott denies rumors he's cheating on Kylie Jenner. So their rumors sparked after a model posted a video of Scott from the set of a shoot. He addressed allegations sharing that he never met the model. There's a lot of weird shit going on. An uninvited person was sneaking photos on what was supposed to be a closed set while I was directing a video. I'm saying this for the last time. I don't know this person, never been with this person. So please stop with the continuous cyber games and the fictional storytelling. (laughs) 
And then the girl that posted it said, saying you don't know me and you've never once been with me and you've definitely been with me when fuck what everybody's seen with seen you with me when I have pictures and videos of you with me. Come on. Come on, sir. And then January 2023, a source confirms that Kylie Jenner is not with Travis Scott. They called it quits for a second time um, and said that this is probably not the end of their relationship. So I guess they're just off again on again. Wait, you would be such a good voice actor. I really don't think I would, but thank you. I, I, I can't hold it consistently. Like if you asked me to replicate that, I don't know if I could. Um, no, but it was deaf proven. He wasn't with that girl. <laughs> Rojan Carr was the woman that said he's only there to give Kylie a kid. Got it. We're coming full circle now. The insider continued. Kylie is very focused on her kids and her business. She's not a big partier. Travis is the opposite. He's like he likes to party. They have different focuses. They always did. And important, uh, uh, reportedly, their relationship has never been easy. That's why they never got married. It's always been very up and down. Yeah, it really, really seems like it. And then January 7th, 2024, Kylie and Timothy Chalamet make their Golden Globe debut. Boom, baby. They have very different focuses. Parenting versus Lee. <laughs> Stop. So he is not focused on the kids. Absolutely not. No, he is not. Yeah, because she partied at 14. She was like, uh, Travis... That's only fun for four to five years. I don't think that's fun anymore. You've been doing it for 10. I don't really know why you still think it's fun. I refuse to believe this is anything but PR. That is also the stance that I have, that this is definitely a PR relationship. Um, so <laughs> I just really, really like this meme. Now that we are up to date on her relationship timeline, I wanted to finish off the night by discussing her friendship with Jordan. And I might not even call it a friendship. I would call it Kylie needs to be a better friend to Jordan. So a timeline of Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods friendship pre-incident. This is proof that they are, in fact, besties. So some of this you already learned. We're going back in time, back to 2012, when she was dating Jaden Smith. She met him because Jaden and Jordan were family friends. Jordan's parents were friends with Will and Jada. Their kids were friends, I guess. So Kylie makes her first appearance on Jordan's Instagram, December 2013. Merry Christmas from the goths. They were wearing, like, all black clothes, doing the little goth thing. Um, Jordan... Jordan attended Kim Kardashian and Kanye West wedding. Jordan was at the lip launch event. They went to fashion week together. Jordan was a model for Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie supports Jordan's fashion line. Um, Kylie and Jordan get married on Life of Kylie. They had a commitment ceremony in Peru to be like best friends for life. Um, so it was like they exchanged vows. I vow to always be there for you through thick and thin. I promise to encourage and inspire you. They're besties. They had a little bestie ceremony, I guess, for TV. Um, so back when rumors started that Kylie was pregnant, Jordan had her back and refused to comment to the press the entire time. Jordan had never spoken a bad thing about her at all. Then Jordan was in the pregnancy video. Like we saw, they go to Paris. Kylie reveals that Jordan lives with her. So Jordan, I'm assuming, is like with the kids and stuff like that, too. Kylie casually reveals Jordan lives with her and helps Kylie test out her beauty products. And she lives in the house. Kylie supports Jordan's new activewear. Kylie and Jordan launch a collab through Kylie Cosmetics. They go on vacation together. These are best friends. These two women are best, best friends with each other. Here's some pictures of them throughout the years from when they're teenagers to being like adult influencers together. They are absolutely best friends. You cannot change my mind about that. They are, you cannot say they are not best friends. They were roommates. They were roommates. Some people say she got all of her emotional fulfillment from Jordan, not from her boyfriends. Not to sound crazy, but it's definitely a U.S. conspiracy to promote same race relationships specifically for white people. I'm ready to hear you and listen to you, but I'm glad you prefaced with not to sound crazy. Um, I meant to say, wait, is the merch gone? Yes, merch is gone. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can sell it to you. I don't think there is. I just like it was taking a fair amount of time and I felt like it was bad for the planet and I wasn't making that much money off of it. So I just I don't know. It's just like the vibe was off. You know what I mean? Um, no, I mean, you do sound crazy, but I'm here to listen to you. So. 
February 19th, 2019, rumors spread that Tristan Thompson cheated on Khloe Kardashian with Jordan. In the shock of the century, news broke that Tristan Thompson was cozying up to someone. It was Jordan Woods. Reports were made that they were at a house party and they were all over each other. That Thompson started spending private time with Woods over the weekend, culminating in a weird late night makeout session at a party where all the guests had their phones confiscated. Tristan initially denied the story, but Chloe and Malika seemed to confirm the news. Sources reported that Tristan admitted to Chloe that it was true. The Kardashian-Jenner family was reportedly beyond angry and disgusted, and Kylie felt torn and didn't know what to do. At the time, Tristan was 28 and Jordan was 21. So some more details on this. Like we said, apparently Jordan was living with Kylie when this happened, and apparently Kylie pays for most of Jordan's life, bought her car, things like that. And apparently Jordan packed her bags and went to her mom's house. I'm imagining Kylie did not have to kick Jordan out. Jordan seems to be relatively emotionally intelligent, and I think she probably read the room and packed it on up and got out of there. Um, But it's unclear if she was forced out. I'm assuming she left voluntarily. Then Jordan appeared on the Red Table Talk to discuss this, and she said that she and Tristan never hooked up, but they did kiss on the lips. Basically, she said he kissed her. It was kind of weird, and she was like, whatever, man, bye. So other than admitting to the kiss, Jordan also confirmed she told Chloe she'd been at the party, and she knows she's not the reason behind Chloe and Tristan breaking up. I think they're back together. Um, and she even, um, she even offered to take a lie detector test to prove she wasn't lying about sleeping with Tristan, which apparently she did do that eventually. And then Jordan talked about what life was like after this scandal on a podcast. She said, I think you can't let life dim you down and you can't let things that happen to you or whatever, you know, what goes on in life change, change change who you are for the worse. You have to constantly become better, evolve, and everything is a learning lesson. I'm very happy with the people I have in my life, and that's just life. Everything comes full circle, too. Imagine ditching your best friend since eighth grade and taking the side of your sister's cheating baby daddy. Interesting. Let me back up my theory. The Kardashians know how to follow trends, and I think they no longer need black men or celebs for their image. I think that really is true. I saw someone talking about it on TikTok where this woman was saying that basically, like, the Kardashians really, like, objectify black men in a way that it's like, let me have this, like, fetishized mixed baby with you, and then I can kick you to the curb because you don't actually have value to this, like, matriarchal family unit, So you're just like here to make children and then goodbye. And that like that is inherently very like if you think historically back to what racism has looked like that like it really perpetuates a lot of very harmful stereotypes and is like very objectifying and sexualizing to black men and just seems icky that it's just like, oh, we have kids and then bye. It doesn't sit right with me. It really just doesn't. And then. When one of when fucking Tristan Thompson is cheating on Khloe Kardashian, we ditch Jordan to the side. What about Jordan? Jordan's been here the whole time. Tristan Thompson sucks. Here's some highlights from the Red Table talk. I'm not here to play the victim. Right. I'm here to take responsibility. And keep in mind, Jordan is a family friend of the Smiths. So this is like I see why she came on here. She really like, it's like a welcoming environment. It's the tell all the world has been waiting for. Jordan Woods speaks out for the first time since news broke about her alleged hookup with Khloe Kardashian's boyfriend, Tristan Thompson. I'm no home wrecker. Right. I would never try to hurt someone's home, right. especially someone that I love. Kylie Jenner's bestie sat down on Jada Pinkett Smith's Facebook watch series, Red Table Talk, to explain what she says went down that night at Tristan's house. I'm not thinking I shouldn't be here. Right. And that's my first step where I went wrong. And how I would feel Mm -hmm. if someone close to me is is hanging at my ex house or yes the father of my child i wouldn't i didn't think about that that's the first part of 
the problem. Jordan claims that she went to Tristan's house after the club with a group of girls, but she denies the claims that they were making out in public. But you know, the night's the night's going on and I hate to be this person, but Jordan looks so good the beat was is impeccable. Like a lap dance, making out with him, sitting all over him. It's just we're all together, we're in a group. Never once did we leave the public area, go to a bedroom, go to a bathroom. We're all in plain sight. The next morning, Jordan says she talked to Kylie and Chloe, but she wasn't honest while recalling this part of her night out with Tristan. I had talked to Chloe and she, you know, asked me what was going on, is everything fine? And in my head of trying to forget that part of the story, I was just like, you know, no, he was, he was chilling. I was honest about being there, but I wasn't honest about the actions that had taken place. I know I was trying to protect Chloe's heart. Yeah. She doesn't deserve this either. Right. But it looks like Chloe isn't quite ready to bury the Not hatchet. Not the Kybella Minutes after background. Jordan's sit-down was posted, Chloe sounded off on Twitter, writing, Why are you lying at Jordan Woods if you're going to try and save yourself Leave by this going public? Alone. Instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. BTW, you are the reason my family broke up. No. And she wasn't she's not. done with just the one tweet. Here's her follow up Tristan is equally to blame, but Tristan is the father of my child. Regardless of what he does to me, I won't do that to my daughter. He has been addressing this situation privately. If Tristan her was lied wasn't publicly the reason. about what conspired, then yes, I would address him publicly as well. For real, Jordan fucked I, up, but she took responsibility. No, Tristan reason. has cheated like but on Tristan everyone. Oh, you're not together. I'm just gonna ask you straight up. <laughs> okay. Did you sleep with Tristan? Never. I think they tell you never what happened. Never thought, never a consideration. But basically, she left. We're not going to watch the rest of this. I'm kind of over it. Um, she left the club with a group of girls. They were all clubbing in a big group. They went back to his house. When she was leaving, he kissed her and she just left. That's what happened. When we think about all the other evils he has done, I really don't think this is. Much of her fault, but Kylie addressed the fallout three months after the Red Table talk show. She said, when we were friends, I never thought that we wouldn't be friends. It was kind of an overnight thing. She did something to my family. It felt like she did something to me. Um, and during the reunion, Chloe made it clear she has no issues with Kylie rekindling a friendship with Jordan. I have told Kylie that I would genuinely not care whatsoever if Kylie wants to be her friend again. My sisters matter way more to me than a grudge or other issues. I mean, you forgave Tristan. And then July 2023, they reunite in public for the first time. Um, apparently Jordan had reached out to Kylie to apologize for everything, how everything went down and they had been hanging out in private and then they eventually went out in public together. Jordan has been making an effort to reestablish her friendship with Kylie. They've been talking and hanging out a little. Everyone moved on and is on the same page and supportive. So last but not least, plastic surgery, denials and admissions over the years. I'm shocked we got through all 88 slides of this. We're almost done. So Kylie Jenner admitted that she had a boob job done in the final episode of the new Hulu run. She came clean and admitted that she got her boobs done a few years ago. She said, I got my breasts done before Stormy, not thinking I would have a child when I was 20. Like they were still here healing. I had beautiful breasts, natural tits, just gorgeous, perfect size, perfect everything. However, she used the moment to explain why she regretted the surgery. I just wish, obviously, I had never got them done to begin with. I would never recommend it. I would recommend to anyone to think about waiting until after children and then she had her second son air um and then in the past she had always claimed that she had big boobs because it was that time of the month or a push-up bra but then like we said later she came out and was like oh i had a boob job um not what i wanted can you still see it good so she has used the Kardashian show before to shut down rumors of plastic surgery. In a previous episode, she finally admitted that she had lips done, but she said that was it. She said, I always remember being the most confident kid in the room. I always loved myself. I still love myself. One biggest misconception about me is that I was an insecure child and I got so much surgery to change my whole face, which is false. I've only gotten fillers. I feel like I don't want that to be a part of my story. And she said that she was insecure about her ears because her sisters used to, um, um, or because they 
people had teased her, especially her sisters had teased her, I guess. She said, like, that fucked me up and left her insecure, refusing to wear her hair up for red carpet for years. And then I had Stormy and she has my ears and it made me love them. Yay. I love publicity. PR. She also says that it's not plastic surgery. She's only gotten lip fillers. She said, I had my one lip insecurity thing. That's all I've ever done. I don't regret it, but I always thought I was cute. And again, I don't believe that. I think she's had a lot of other stuff done. Um, she said, I did end up getting lip fillers, but I'll see photos when I'm 12 versus 26 and my eyebrows are filled in differently and I have contour on. And I'm like, how can you compare my 12 year old face and, um, and say I've gotten my jaw shaved and eyelids removed? I'm like, what are we talking about? I do think that's true. I think when you get a lot of plastic surgery, when you're like a teenager, it's hard to tell what you've had done because you never let your body fully finish growing. So <clears throat> that was a time. We had a time tonight, and I think we are all dumber because of it. I love a stream where we can just all collectively lose some brain cells. Here were our sources from the night, and let's go ahead and play this freaking game. Yes, a lot of people say that she's had a BBL. Plastic surgery on teenagers should be illegal. You should not get... Oh, just, the Valentine's Day one is still here. Yay. You should not get plastic surgery until you're like at least 25 because that's when you're done growing the last line. So this is a little trivia game. Let me put the directions to join up there. For those of you on TikTok, you have to come to Twitch to get this kind of fun time. So this is just 10 questions about what we talked about tonight. So you don't have to put in your email. You don't have to make an account. I do not want your data. I don't want any of those things. I'm going to put a link in the chat. You can open this in a new tab if you're on a computer. If you're on your phone, you don't need an app. You don't need anything. Again, you don't even have to make an account. Just go to join.nearpod.com and it's going to ask you for a code. Our code is ZM, that is Z as in zebra, M as in Mary, W as in water, NJ, like New Jersey. So join.nearpod.com, the code ZMWNJ. Chloe acts like she has ever stood on business on business she's so beautiful what elective plastic surgery for rich teens but god forbid a 16 year old take puberty blockers i mean honestly i feel like everything should be in the same category as like tattoos you should be 18 to have to sign off on anything but i'm not a doctor elective plastic surgery should be illegal exactly i feel like i'm very against elective surgery in general i think like going under anesthesia unnecessarily is just like not ideal but anyway when you join on nearpod oh you all are all penguins when you join on nearpod it's going to ask you for a name your name will come up um so put something funny or put your name if you're okay with that but i'll give people a couple more seconds to join i want to der, der, der. i need to do something on my phone while you do that We're all penguins. There really are a lot of penguins today. I've been doing psychology homework on the side. Luckily, I kept my brain cells this time. That makes one of us. I'm definitely a lot stupider because of this. It was a long time since I'd been able to join a stream. So happy to have caught it today. And we will see. I'm too ripped to defend the baby gaze tonight. What? Is this like Kahoot? Kind of. It's very similar to Kahoot. What was I about to say? Next week, we are streaming on Wednesday. We're going to talk about Erica Jane and Tom Girardi, but mainly Erica Jane. So, um, oh, and people are talking about puberty blockers in the chat. Yeah, I really have nothing to say about that because I literally don't know shit. So I'm not going to say anything because I don't know anything. Did we decide to switch to Tuesdays? <laughs> Never mind. So we're going to decide if we're switching to Tuesdays. I wanted to do one more Wednesday just to at least give those people a vote in the poll. But I wanted to, I think, switch to Tuesday. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit start on this. If you have not joined, it'll still let you join late. There's lots of pictures on this one. I had to miss half of this for psych class and not to slander teachers, but our professor is insane and I definitely lost brain cells during lectures. Tuesdays are VPR nights, though. I watch Vanderpump Rules on Wednesday mornings because I have Peacock, so I know that is a factor for a lot of you. 
Housewife and Hustler. Yes, I'm watching it this weekend to prepare. Also, for those of you on TikTok, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight to you. Love you so much. Bye-bye. This is difficult already. Just like the light coming from outside. Interesting. How do we think Kris Jenner reacted to 9-11? That's actually such a good question. When was Kylie born? A lot of y'all put in 1897. Story time, please, Mother Chris. I'm older than her. Yeah, she was born in 1997. I was born in 98. She's a little bit older than me. Not me forgetting the early 1990s weren't 20 years ago. What competition show did Kylie appear on with her mother? Not Kylie being older than you. That's so scary, isn't it? Like she could adopt me legally. Can our next shaming rich people stream be about weddings? Ooh, good idea. Yes. I was going to do weddings. I was also thinking about doing like real housewives outfits, like how much each individual piece of the outfit is worth. Like Dorit, imagine if you had two babies. I don't want to imagine that. Kylie could not be a teacher because Kylie does not have a college degree or a high school degree if we're really being technical about it. Where did Kylie make out with Jaden? Shaming Christmas cards. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively's plantation wedding specifically. I need to write this down. I'm taking notes on my notes app. Blake Lively plantation. We let the South get off too easy. Jesus fucking Christ. I hope that y'all like the wrong answers on this one. There's a guy on TikTok who breaks down the cost of rich people weddings and vacations and it always blows me away. Can you send that to me or like tag me in a bunch of their videos or something? I'm very eager to see that. The music is giving five minute crafts. It was Kendall and Kylie rock versus rap. Who would pay for me to get fillers that would eat? What magazine put Kylie on the front as a billionaire? I'd pay for the fastest buccal fat injection. My teeth hurt. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the slushy I just drank. I dropped my phone. What grown man hosted Kylie's 17th birthday party? Has anyone heard the conspiracy theory that they keep their men plump to use their fat for injections? Interesting. R. Kelly is a known predator. I felt like it was a good distractor answer. Known predator. Doing predator behavior. I'm a test taker and a test maker. Y'all forget that. Rob's crush on Kim? I'm sorry, what? Who is the father of Kylie's children? The O. J. 
Justice for Jordan. I'm glad you're winning. You're, you're in second. Make it nasty is winning. Mr. Redacted, once you know, you cannot unknow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ludicrous. Someone in here earlier mentioned that Rob dated slash hooked up with someone who won a Kim Kardashian lookalike contest. That is terrifying. Terrifying. My boyfriend is watching with me but joined late and is now trying to cheat off me in this quiz. No cheating. You get a zero. Tell me his username and I will remove him from the near pod. I can remove people. You will get a message that says you have been removed. Do Chloe and Kim talk to Rob? <laughs> oh, he got in trouble. <laughs> the chat right now. When is class next week? It's Wednesday. I'm telling you the answer. It's Wednesday. Kids' voices. Ooh. This is such a teacher question. I know it really is. Why is Monday capitalized? I don't know. I will try and watch it. Maybe I'll watch it this weekend. Or I can watch it while I work out. That's a good time to watch it. This map is so beautiful. Wow, love is in the air. I love the Valentine's Day theme. I love when they forget to delete it for a couple days. Nice job in first place. We have Make It Nasty. Stormy in second place. Stormy, you just like mommy, baby. Justice for Jordan, Tatum, Lip Filler, BBL, BB, Jail, Jail, Jail for These Men, King, Jay, Haley, A Kylie Cosmetic Parking Lot, A Calabasas Parking Lot, Rye Girl, Desert Lip Kit, Sam, King Kylie, Caroline, Rachel, Alina, Kylie's Upper Lip, and I will scroll through the rest. A Blue Raspberry Slush, we love. Casual Long Distance Co Parent, Kylie's Dry Lip Kits, Tyga is a Pedo. So true. Glad I was off TikTok so I don't get banned for that. Nice job. Nice job. Great turnout tonight. Great participation tonight. We love that. If anyone has any memes, anything to add, I'm sure I missed things. She has literally done everything in public for so many years. So I just kind of included the general highlights of her life and wiki page. Um, but any other memes, any other funny things, anyone feel free to share. So you want me to die? No, I don't. I'm the boyfriend. What? Parking lots in the chat. Chat has been fun today. Chat has been very fun today. Not bagels. The worthless lip kits. Is this who? Who is this? Who is that person? Bay said, I want a sandwich. The way this was probably $100 on Instacart. Absolutely incredible. Rise and shine. Oh, the cheating boyfriend in question. Ah, there you are. There you are. There you are. Thank you for the distraction from our lives. You are so welcome. And I will see you here on Wednesday for Erica and Tom Girardi, but mostly Erica. Um, and what else was I going to say next? So on Wednesday, I'll do a poll with my Wednesday people and then I will tally up the votes, but I'm leaning towards switching to Tuesday. Tuesdays are just working out a little bit better for me. Um, who is Erica Jane? Let me show you who Erica Jane is. So Erica Jane is from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This is her, Erica Jane. So she was, she is on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She's like a singer, performer, whatever. She was a singer, performer, whatever, because she was married to Tom Girardi. Tom Girardi is an extremely, extremely, extremely famous lawyer. Tom Girardi, it came out, was like doing fraud and a bunch of fucking terrible things. And people mm -hmm. thought that Erica was involved within the court cases. They couldn't really find that she was involved. So we're just going to talk about everything that went down with her court case and then her life and all of that. The three different breads. Kylie and every teen girl. Me at 16 thinking that a cool 25-year-old man wanted to be friends with me. Me at 25. 
The way I need to show that to my students. Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet confirmed their dating rumors in new Instagram post. Stop. All righty. This was such a fun time. We have been here for two hours. I am not a bachelor watcher, unfortunately, but I will let everybody go. Enjoy your night. And I, I like that you're FaceTiming us on your stream. I like you're FaceTiming us on your stream promo. I do too. But anyway, have a great night. I will see you here Wednesday of next week for Erica Jane and Tom.